player! This is Space R5, and welcome back to episode 9 of our Japanese Let's Play series where we are in the process of integrating two vassals. We have released Mongolia, and we are going to feed back quite a bit of their land from the Oirat and hopefully start beating up the Oirat horde. Uh, since they are pretty big and beefy, they have lots of manpower, lots of troops. And while we have lots of troops, we have very little manpower. So we're going to try and work on that and get our manpower up just a little bit. Uh, and obviously we're going to be deving a little bit. We are definitely ahead of tech of them. We're three techs ahead, uh, which is pretty substantial at this point. They just have bodies on us, uh, which we will be, uh, working on in here in the future. Why is your integration so slow? Oh, you just are slow. Okay, that's fine. As long as that's the only reason is that you are slow, I, I am totally okay with that. Uh, Parliament's fine. We're going to go ahead and continue to build up. Uh, yeah, I'll take the 11,000 manpower. Thank you, because you're almost gone. Appreciate it. We're going to spend all that and send it straight to the front lines. Uh, they are currently drilling right now. Um, I do have a mission here where I need to, need money, but I need inflation to be low. Inflation is going up right now. Mm, I think we're just going to extend these low. Give me the inflation. It's fine. We'll have to buy it down three times, which I almost have enough Monarch points. Uh, so I can actually probably take a loan to go ahead and get that. What does this give us? Um, construction cost reduction, construction time reduction. I mean, so we're just going to really just dev up our land. Uh, local tax modifier inside our own country as well. And then what do we got? I uh, have a bunch of manufacturers. And yeah, just a bunch of manufacturers. Uh, which is definitely something I want to do. Uh, prestige for conversion. Yes, please. So we are going to continue to dev up our, our main land. Uh, there it is, our truce here with Korchin. Hmm. Well, I'd have to fight you, Korchin. Uh, actually, I'd have to fight the Oirat. I would much rather fight the Oirat and then declare on you afterwards. More cores rolling in, also very helpful and luxurious. Uh, does this land really need to be statified? It's, like, pretty garbage, to be honest. Uh, we're going to go fight here. We did have a little morale, but that's not a big deal. Extra prestige for our conversions. Very nice. Uh, most bang for our buck right there. Uh, we can have absent merchant. Not really concerned about that. How is our manpower doing? Uh, manpower is positive now for change, uh, which is very nice. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, we're probably not quite at our combat width. And we need just, a, a you know, another 200 ducats. That's going to boost our trade power as we continue to get rid of our overextension. Not too bad. Uh, just, oh, I was like, does any of you guys want to go ahead and become my vassal? Uh, I don't... Give me the local manpower modifier. I'm not sure where that is at, but we're almost gaining a thousand a month. I would definitely take that. Military tech ahead of time. Definitely an idea there. Definitely an idea indeed. Uh, that was... Oh, that was you gone. I thought it was going to be this guy that we were going to integrate. Not a big deal. Just uh, a little annoying. I was hoping it was the other guy because you still had a quarter return. Um, give us the discipline, because we, we can definitely afford you. We can actually afford you being level three. Uh, our income keeps going up, which kind of delays this a little bit. I still have a full year. I think I'll wait till January, if I remember. Uh, because I would love to have another six innovativeness. Just make things just a little bit cheaper. Just a little bit. Uh, Abend, what idea are we going to go next? It's got to be a Diplo or Military. I haven't done a Diplo yet, actually. Um, board ideas, this makes sense. Power projection insults? No, our power projection's already fine. Do I even have rivals? No, I don't even have rivals. Hmm. Yes, go ahead and continue drilling. You're fine. Hmm. What ideas do we want? I want, definitely probably want a Diplo, but I'm not, like, I'm not going vassal heavy, so influence doesn't really make sense. Maritime, what is this? Global Naval Engagement Modifier plus 10%. That's actually really good. Uh, definitely don't really need this, though. I don't feel the need to have a strong Navy. We just have one because we've beaten everyone up. Uh, the cheaper war score cost for provinces is probably pretty good for Diplo. Extra Diplomats is kind of fine. Uh, we'll also have to figure that out. Oh, maybe we'll go with Military Idea Group. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> we are not being very decisive right now. I believe I have enough money for this, right? Yes. Let's go ahead and reduce our inflation. Oh, uh, by that one, two, three times. Let us click this button for cheaper construction costs. And then it just goes straight into manufacturers. I wish you could sort by the ones that you can actually build. And I really do want to prioritize the mainland, because that's where we're going to dev at the end of the day. Um, dude. 
I don't expect me to build a couple more buildings to that. Uh, give me more production as well. Uh, just because that's going to pair well with the mainland uh, devving eventually. Um, doo -doo -doo. Wow, this is pretty bad, actually. Two of a kind, what do you got? Uh, I'll take 15 melter points, thank you. Take both of those. All right, so we're on Meth Tech 14 to their 10. Well, we are now four military techs ahead of these fools. Uh, what is our truce up with you, actually? Soon, 66. Oh, we got a full year, actually. All right, well, we got some time. What is it, new infantry? Nope, new cav. Can't say I have much cav in my army, but that's okay. Still relevant. Let's go ahead and build up our spy network on you. Um, that's losing quite a bit of money, but that's a lot of base tax. At the end of the day, base... It's definitely worth the, the spend uh, there. That's a great event for us. Mm, we're not going to stay by this. It's pretty garbage land, I'll be honest. That's okay. We can dev it. I believe... Actually, is there... Gold? I think there's a gold mine up here, isn't there? Uh, do, Oh, there's actually a coal production province. Just sworn there was a gold mine here. I wonder if that... There, there was once. I remember back in like 1.8, uh, there was a gold mine there. Uh, let's see. Very good. Yeah, no gold mine anymore. There used to be a gold mine there. Oh well. We have two our two lovely gold mines here, and that's plenty for us at the moment. Uh, it is July. Courts and pretender rebels have crossed our border. I don't care. Just stand there, and you guys just gear up for war against uh, the Oirat. We are going to break in. A, what happened to? All, oh, you are in two wars right now against Diviet and Wu. So are you trying to go ahead and destroy the? Uh, the Emperor again, except Daviet uh, is actually pretty large. I got 30, oh, actually, they only have 32,000 troops. Uh, you just lost like 5k. Architectural development. Uh, yes, please. Uh, this is great. I'm gonna let this one just time out while we go ahead and get our money. How much money are we making? 67 ducks a month. This is fantastic. We definitely need to build a couple more forts over here. Uh, I do want another fort here, uh, just in case we're already building a manufactory. I do want another fort here, uh, just for... Oh, we're up to Tier 4 forts, actually. I'll build a two, Tier 2 one for now, though. Hold up, I need that money. That money is important. There we go, click that one. All right, let's go ahead and declare war on the Oirat. We are going to declare war for the cores of Mongolia. We'll go for... Uh, Yud province. Fine, you have one siege pip, you have three, that seems fair in terms of splitting, you guys go there. We'll just keep the two armies uh, close together with admin tech, a yes please. Lose five legitimacy. Ah, lose five prestige, we're, we're good. We can now have plantations, that's great. And ideas. Well, what do we have currently that will pair well? You have offensive ideas for extra siege and siege ability, that's actually fantastic i love offensive ideas uh offensive ideas is definitely by far one of my favorites uh movement speed increase artillery level available versus forts for, for infrastructure i mean that's like two really good ideas um it's cheaper advisor i don't care about that provincial trade power also not really what i'm looking for Monthly reform progress is, is kind of nice but we're actually have really good autonomy so i'm not too concerned about plutocratic offensive ideas don't really need quantity is something we do need Reinforced costs and reinforced speed is good. That definitely offsets our uh, our samurais quite a bit. And additional reinforce. Oh, our troops are basically gonna be like free to reinforce. They'll be minus fifty five percent. Um, this will actually probably be pretty, pretty good. I I just can't get behind uh, offensive. Just gives us three guaranteed pips: shock, fire, siege. And then 20% siege ability, and we get an extra 10% siege ability. Like, this is just fantastic. Like, if you're playing, so, like, you just have to. Uh, let's also focus military while we're going through this. Um, construction development cost increases or lose 50 admin points. Uh, this is for 10 years. That's fine. I'm not really devving at the moment. I don't plan on devving at the moment. Uh, you guys go ahead and do that. What did you just do to me, Dev, yet? You guys are super weak. Do stab. Now I'll take corruption. Thank you. Uh, that's going to get burnt off here fairly quick. Still make plenty of money. Let's just go ahead and max on that. We still make money. Fantastic. Mongolia is going through and they're going to reclaim their provinces. 
Very nice. Not really too concerned about anything at the moment. Corchin. Obviously, the Aura would not defend them right now because we're already at war. But, hmm. Corchin. Oh, there's your, there's your little army. It's being cute over there. Let's go to the north. We have plenty of troops right now. And there went your navy. All right, so navy is gone. It has been busted. Where are you guys going? Well, wherever you go, I will find you. Thank for our buck there. I don't know if I necessarily want to be walking all the way out here. There's a quite a bit of attrition. You guys going? You guys are going there. There we go. We caught you. This will be 8,000 troops gone and dusted. Wonderful. Can't catch this army. Uh, this army really just needs to go and siege. Go over there. All right. We are only looking to return course. Didn't quite uh, take, like, land out of your heartland at all. But... Actually, this may be considered your heartland at this point that you're at. Also, those are my separatists. That's fine. 75% uh, war score is all I'm asking for. That seems uh, doable. And you're getting... I will come fight your little 9k. Yes, Vassal, lose the battle real quick. Uh, we have died for a 0 5 one. Uh, Most displeased about it, but uh, life goes on. I tried to get rid of him early on, but he, he, he did not. Oh, he died in battle. Not die in battle. I only lost one stab. But he, he he just died while he was leading the army, which is fine. For a leader, uh, take that guy. I kind of want to throw the air in there and hope that he died a little sooner rather than later. Uh, unfortunately not. Corchin, you're having bad times. Or uh, you're having very bad times. Still have the Vassal of Ming. Uh, Ming still has all their cores. I would take your vassalization. I don't want you as a tributary. Uh, we may try for that. Uh, out 900 ducats, sure, not a problem. Thank you. Appreciate ya. Uh, what do you give us? Really prestige. Don't need more prestige in my life. More taxes, prestige from land battles. Ah, uh, could be fun. And the Great Kyoto. Jimacy. Everybody's our subjects. Don't care. Castle. Prestige. Oh, we're good. Can I use the one here in Seoul? Oh, it's already a tier one. Advisor cost and monthly autonomy reduction is good. Oh, I was like, where did I send the army? It's over there. Uh, let's see. I take Ming. Pillage the capital of Ming. Uh, no, I don't want to pillage the capital of Ming. At 71% war score to take make Ming a vassal. I think I'm going to do that. Instead of taking all of our uh, Mongolia's cores. Because then we're just going to raise all of China. I say raise, but we won't actually raise China. Uh, we'll just conquer it very quickly. I'll also give a reason for us to fight Daivietch. Still the Emperor. And that will be uh, a good time for us. Little, little armies are going to die here. Thank you. I will lose 10 prestige, not a problem. Back over here. Oh, we're sitting on their capital, fantastic. All right, clear off this offer. This is what I seek now. Minus 32, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna repay our loans. I no longer wish to have any inflation and, oh, it wasn't you who died. It was this guy, this army, this army just is not allowed to have a leader. 151, we are now up to 20% professionalism. Am I okay with paying this? Army Drill Gain Modifier. I'm okay with paying that. I will pay that. Alright, well, there went your capital. Your armies have proven to be uh, weak, ineffective, and easily destroyable. Alright, go over there. Guys are up here to start besieging. I don't care at the end of the day. Uh, I do need forts over there just because you're annoying, but beyond that, it's fine. Alright, Ming is now ours. Back over 
here, and we're gonna come over here. He, you're a tributary woo, or a, a, or a how about woo? We're not gonna conquer. We're gonna do reconquest. Just go ahead and walk on back. Um, sure. Be the war goal. Since I know you already have rebels. Uh, this will also make Ming uh, absolutely love us. Uh, they're going to be a little upset spaghetti for a while because we have AE with them. They, I did forcefully vassalize you. That's only 115 AE. That's actually not the worst thing in the world. going to step in here, take over this siege. We're at 14% day one. Don't have any friends, right? Yeah, no friends. Ming, you are not going to be unhappy with me here for very long. She... I have to fight the Oi Rat. They have a bunch. Oh, they have two thousand ducats worth of already. They despise me. Mm. Most displeasing. Subjects, go ahead and go on siege focus. I don't think there's going to be much stopping us here. You are our tributary of the Oi Rat as well. What about you? Uh, Taiwan. I do have a reason to conquer you. At one point, I did have a mission tree to go ahead and take that, so. Oh, good. Thank you for taking that back. I did not realize I had rebels there at all. Are you ready just to surrender? All these go back to Ming. I don't want any of it. Not mine to take. Only time I'll take it is if uh, I have to pay for it. Take back all their cores first. That one cost me minor points. Turn cores. Alright, just continue to occupy. This is where Diplo ideas would be really good, just because the, uh, the provincial war score cost would be reduced by 25%. But hey. Life goes on. I'm not going to complain about that by any means. Continue to occupy Ming, or for Ming. There you go. That one. Uh, that would be enough. Or we can just hit here and just go by cost. You actually get more land doing it this way for some reason. I don't like the fact that it's not sorting properly anymore. Now, it's not a hard... I like it, It's definitely a mechanic that they've broken. I don't think it was intentionally that they broke that, but... There, you can stay here. Goes to Ming. Uh, you. Dive yet. Don't actually have that many troops. Uh, yeah, we're going to do Reconquest War here very soon. Uh, right now, in fact, if I can. Yo, uh, we are going to go for... Where's their fort around? I don't see any forts around here. Go for... No fort there either. There we go. Gian, uh, that would be our war goal. Mmm, you the best leader. Yes, you are indeed the best combat leader for now. We'll walk over there to die. Yet, I'm gonna say hi to this 30,000, or it was not 30,000, it was 5,000 troops. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, you guys are just gonna roll over, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna repay the last of our Dutch, and we're gonna continue building our buildings. Got some production buildings, more manufactories uh, in the mainland. Let's go for 0.53. Good. And this should be recruitment time. Not that I care about recruitment time at all at the moment. A 152 air. Mm, he's better than our current guy. So there's an argument to keep him. Can't throw him off a cliff. Maybe because. Uh, is that because I'm at war? Might be because I'm at war. Probably because I'm at war. Alright, how are you doing over here? Uh, it's still. Multi I mean, you're only two techs behind, but you're still four techs behind. I don't think I need to worry about you. Manpower is indeed an issue. Uh, we'll be resolving that here eventually, I hope. Keyword, there's hope. 
get a returning core. Cores everywhere. Was that Age of Colonialism? Is that what I just saw? Definitely shouldn't be Colonialism. 400 ducats for 10 prestige. I will take 400 ducats and promptly build. So I want to build more forts. A fort there, there, and there. This is all for... Uh, my army tradition. I want my army tradition to stay nice and high right now. Fully maintain forts at 0.29. Ah, so we definitely need to more than double our forts. We'll go fight you there on that hill. Not too concerned at the end of the day. Grab your capital. And Ming is over here uh, occupying all their land back as well. Uh, it looked like those losses were 2-1, to one, uh, which I'm very much in favor of. Over there. Those are two separatists. Well, I'm okay if they keep breaking free. Uh, we do have a mission for uh, fighting the leader of the... Uh, of the... Uh, Mandate of Heaven. There we go. Uh, is that on our old ideas or on the current ones? I don't know. Though. Uh, what is this? 20 provinces with manufacturers based production at 6. That's fine. Navy needs to grow. Have one colonist. I don't feel the need to have colonists at the moment. Conquer the South China Sea. New wars. Oh, yes. 85%. This gives us... Beijing is owned by us. One of the, oh, okay. I just have 85% war scores. This give us... China will gain the following reward. We'll crush the Emperor of China. We gain the following reward. Work creation cost and provincial war score cost reduction. Ah, uh, the provincial war score cost reduction is going to be huge for us. We're like not doing artillery brought here. Does that mean we've suffered enough attrition? Yeah, we've suffered quite a bit. That's our manpower. Negative 30,000. All right, more manpower buildings is what, what that tells me. Just need a bigger pool, is all. There, say hi to that little 2k for a little bit of war score. 0.4 war score. I mean, it's it's not a ton, but every little bit counts. Keep pushing them back. They are now down over here. They're not suffering attrition. I would love for them to be suffering attrition. That'd be that'd be super funny. Uh, at least comical. You're inside your own country, but you've overextended your lines. Uh, is probably what we're talking about doing. All right, we'll come over here and blockade this. Blockade siege impact plus one. Might as well, since I am quite literally going to go ahead and get a blockade there. There we go. Let's get plus one. Very nice. Uh, we're just going to continue as is because we're negative 37,000 troops. I don't actually wish to fight you at all. Uh, our troop count is super low. Interest recovering. Uh, we are getting a thousand a month. So, I mean, there is something to that. Gold Rush, hey, thank you for 2,000 ducats. Appreciate it. Uh, definitely is going to be helpful. All right, you guys go over there. This 30k will stay here. Mm, do you have to sit there? No. Uh, sit there. You have more wargs, or uh, more recovering uh, there. Local development costs, own provinces in the area. This is just cheaper advice. Admin monarch skill. Monarch admin skill. Uh, yeah, I want that. Just make all of our future guys better. Sounds fantastic. Um, I need manpower recovery speed. There we go. Manpower modifier. There we go. That'll work. All right. Now we're making over a thousand min a month. See, uh, this leader seat has has died. Uh, most unfortunate. Here. Go there. Stop there. Besiege that. You just need a new leader. Captain Diplo points. Uh, I think that means some culture conversions are in order. I don't have any adjacency here, though. Let's see our cultures. Christian could be an accepted culture. I don't think I want to make it an accepted culture, though. Spread our culture across the sea a little bit. Uh, Korean can stay. This is all part of our cultural union, which is fine. This is all jurchin as well. Alright, well, we'll just go ahead and start uh, planting seeds over here. Our culture. I could technically convert this over to Korean. I don't really see a reason to do that. I'd much rather be my primary culture. 
Uh, beyond that, it, it's all fine. Another conversion. I mean, we got one army fully reinforced. Not so much the other. All right, what do you got over here? Economical matters. Dev cost reduction sounds pretty good. Goods produced is also pretty good. Trade power, don't really care. Uh, no, we're, that's fine. Trade steering, also not really what we're looking for. We don't have any trade companies. Ship costs, no. Really inflation reduction, interest period, no. This is pretty good for trade, or we can go for the devving, continue to build tall. Let's go for continuing to build tall. Uh, don't normally do it, so we're going to try and do that. Increase base tax in one province. And the next 10 years, minus 5% construction cost. Don't really need it. Still like this. We're not doing any real culture conversion. For missionaries, I don't think I need those. Vassals don't really need it. I could go for the plus one stab. Yes, let's go for the plus one stab. I don't really want to lose the, uh, the professionalism. Uh, yes. We have mining rights. No sailors needed. Loot, burn that little bit of prestige. Oh, thank you for the plus one stab. I appreciate it. Got this one going. So I think I only need to occupy these two forts. We'll be good to go. For that. And let's go for some more buildings. Production? Nah. Oh, it's a manufactories. Got some paper over there that looks pretty good. Just can't can't produce those yet. Uh, we will eventually. Go ahead and get some more manufacturers because we have plenty of missions where we have to do that. What are these shoe separatists? I'm okay as long as they break free. Work harder. Yes, I appreciate the uh, the minor points though. All right, we're just waiting on this siege. Manpower is recovering while we are sitting on that siege, so I'm totally fine with that. I don't feel the need to actually fight at the moment either. I think these will give us enough war score. You definitely worked really hard there, Ming. I appreciate your efforts. It doesn't help that you have your own Separatist, though. Uh, it goes... Do you need to relieve that siege? Don't take that, please. I'll be happy with that. Uh, Nani seems fine. The 87 ducks a month. I definitely am not complaining about that. Funneling money here. I don't I actually have a lot of it occupied. I am going to steal their trade power here. Seems appropriate uh, to steal Ming's trade power. So we're just going to funnel more into here. <clears throat> oh, there went that siege. That was pretty quick. I just need a little bit more. That should be enough. All right, 85. Go. Japan becomes the Emperor of China. Japan gets the era of the Tranquil Sun till the end of the game. Mandate growth, max protoculture is plus two. I've never been the the holder of the Mandate of Heaven, so... Yes. Change the country reform. Is that tier one? Yeah. Celestial Empire. Prestige, governing costs going up. Influence goes down. Did I get a new state? I did. The Unix. Force tributary state. Uh, I don't think I want to force any right now. What do you guys do? Keeper advisors, but you give me yearly corruption. That sounds awful. You guys also did just get 27% of my crown land. Dang. Don't need more. Minimum autonomy. Governing capacity. Okay. Diplo rep. This just gives us corruption. Uh, Because it promotes the rights. Okay. So what do we have to reduce the corruption? Monthly favor growth modifier. National focus cooldown. Don't need any of that. You guys just close to 50? You're going to get to close. Uh, you guys give a lot of uh, corruption. It does scale based off your uh, amount of land that you guys have. So it seems like you just can't have any land. You guys are all fine. Uh, I'll go for this. Is that what I want? No. This doesn't seem very good, especially costing 5% crown lands.
None of these sexual. Ah, we'll go for the trade power, I guess. That costs us 5% cross car lands too? This seems atrocious. Uh, I'll go for the taxes then. That's fine. That one hurts us the least. What else can we do in here? No more perfection? No. Uh, we'll go for this. Force for this unity. Maybe it actually goes up right now. That's kind of cool. An enact a decree. Dilmet core creation cost. National tax. Or reforms. Need at least 80. Corruption is less than one. Democracy is going up. Putting in China where helps. Alright. Court Generals is not enacted. Okay. There's a whole lot of things I need to read about, apparently. We'll see. First, we're going to go ahead and return course. Proceed provinces, rather. I may have permanent claims here, but we're just going to... Make China nice and big. Uh, I'll take Hong Kong. That cost me different points. Okay, I won't be taking that. Get a nice swath of uh, China there. Click. This also separates all of this, so this will uh, become free. I didn't want, actually want. I will release or give this back to you. I will return province. They have that. Why so disloyal? From all your development? Yeah, yeah, I, I can, I believe that. You're, you're a little beefy. You are indeed beefy. Okay. We do good things to you. Um, crush the South China Sea. Gives us gain 20 mandate. Gain a permanent claim on every province. The Malacca trade node. That sounds huge. Okay. Uh, we'll be there soon. Uh, as soon as I'm done with all this. Alright, won't even defend you, so we're just gonna come over here and reconquest. Well. Why are you not defending them? They have so much debt, they will not. Emperor does not own Beijing, Nanjing, or Canton. Hey, look. Look. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna resolve most of these. You. Who are you underneath? Am I at war with you? I am at war with you. Alright. Go there. The admin, what do we have? Un, uh, unguarded borders? Except less than two Chinese cultures. I don't have any Chinese cultures. Remember China and name. You're right. I can't physically take any of those. <laughs> Alright, well that's going to be a disaster we're definitely going to have to deal with. We may only be in name, but uh, it's a strong name, my add. Uh, minus one. At least Japan has completed humanist ideas. Yeah, no, we didn't. All right, cool. Well, that is definitely going to be an issue. Free and all this could stay. I don't really have any issues with these. So I guess I can promote mercantilism with it. Might as well. It's up to 10% since we do get quite a bit from trade. Uh, state needs the money. Uh, or game five meritocracy. Um... I guess I'll trade for it. I will take the five mandate. Five meritocracy sounds good. All right, so we're already at high enough tier. This gives us more meritocracy. Emperor gets diplomats and trade. Sounds pretty good. Or creation cost reduction. I'm not doing that right now. The really, armchitian sounds pretty good. Diplo wrap, monthly favor, growth modifier. Hmm. Really what I'm looking for. This is still going up even though I don't control them. Stab definitely helps quite a bit. Prosperity helps as well. Um, we're in the meritocracy. 
does give us a low man. Oh, it cost us a stab. That's fine. Uh, so that does mean that it's going to be hurting us for a little while. That's okay. I'll take the five navy tradition. I'm not really going to war it at the moment, and I don't think anyone can even fight us uh, either. Practically is going down now. Why? Negative mandate. Ah, I see. What do you help us with? Uh, I only burn it then real quick. Death cost reduction. Just more money. Domestic trade power, fort maintenance. Don't really need it. Oh, yeah, just give me that. That was great. Yeah, that really offsets the negative modifiers that we just got. Give me better leaders. Corpse submission, cornerstone of the empire. Unix of the Japan Empire. Hold up. What, what is the cornerstone of a... I have no idea what this is. Uh, I will take the stab, though. The siege good. Oh, you, you are all the way down there, G. Very nice. Not realize that you were in multiple locations. All right, so the Oira is actually... Can we attack Korchin? Yes. Also, a bunch of Monarch points cost a bunch of money. All of Dive yet. I mean, I'm fine with this. Give me that. Really offsets most of my negative modifiers that I had. Uh, we're going to go and relieve that fort. Well, we only have one siege left, so actually, we're fine. Lost a couple boats in my navy. That's fine. I'm not too concerned. Uh, we're going to try and re release, relieve everything. Uh, let's go to Ming. This is going to really tick off Ming, though. As they continue to grow too large for us. That's okay. Or I can take it all for myself. Core it all. Don't have Beijing, though. Also don't have Canton. So, like, even though it's a, it's a vassal, I can't really do much about it. Hmm, interesting. Means I need to own it directly. Hmm. I'm just gonna give this all over to Ming. I don't need this land myself. We're just gonna have difficulty uh, controlling them, but we have our monument and our capital. Uh, that allow helps us control vassals. Unruly vassals at that. There you go. And I will take your money. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you, Korchin. The Navy Tradition? Or Army Tradition? I will lose the 5 Mortocracy. I don't need that. And let's see. Does anyone wish to become our uh, our tributary right here? No. Or not neighbors, because I don't no neighbor anyone. I see. Let's see how that goes. Uh, we're going to play Gechu one time. We're going to get Royal Marriage. You're just a, just a wee bit unruly. Shifts purity. This is only conquest of a single province, though. Oh, I could fight you. I do have more conquest on you. Over there. Light ship. Oh, trade steering increase. Very nice. Hey, you weren't supposed to be joining. I saw that. If I attacked Korch and you weren't going to join, now you're just going to join. Uh, for poops and giggles, do not appreciate. Uh, especially with our mandate being this low. Uh, that's going to hurt us quite a bit. Uh, I don't even remember those guys spawning, but okay. How's this growing? We are going to take Beijing in this war. Because apparently the Oirats are here. So we'll kill them while we're here. Might as well. Uh, I also think we're not over our governing capacity. No, we are half way there. What is this one? Ford. Um, tribute to eight. 
I think that's gonna go away though. I don't think I actually want to fight you at all. Take Kuru. Oh, good. You're you're standing on it right now. Good. 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 All right. Let's see. Oops. Definitely need a lot more samurai in my life. We'll get there eventually. Uh, Ming, I need to really start your integration as soon as possible. For 3,000 Diplo points, uh, that's going to be awfully expensive. We're going to spend ages uh, integrating you. Ah. We are indeed the Emperor only in name. Uh, are you going to keep progressing? Yes. 1582. We still got quite a bit of quite a bit of time. Hurts our mandate growth. Hurts our tech cost. Well, the following must be true. Can we stop? Oh, that's going to suck. All right, so we, we are going to have to accept two. Raider die. That's unfortunate. Oh, we can just get another one. Yeah. Does that automatically do that? No. Yeah. This what it is. All right, we're gonna go fight that army. Beijing. We are. We are indeed going to attempt to go ahead and take this back. Beijing. What do we got here? Please give me manpower. I need 44,000 manpower. Uh, yes, that is indeed a, a small amount of troops that I need. Just give me this. I'll be happy. Evidently, we need to go help our vassal real quick. Just be right there. Sorry, guys. I was looking elsewhere. And you decide you elected to throw your army away. Ming, you're nice and happy. You got your land back. Diviet is completely split off, so we're going to see all of these guys break free, hopefully. Why are you still on zero? Uh, the moment you flip uh, to low, I think we're going to be fine. Blockading all of that. Yeah, you're going to keep getting lower. Especially if we continue to occupy your country. Batch. Tech is Diplo. I will take that. That's where I had time on everything else. We're on six. Minus five. This car proceeds a little bit faster since I do want our troops to recover at some point. And Beijing will be the start of our, uh, ex oh, I actually have a core there. Oh, well, I will be taking my core there then. I don't need more force limits. Not too concerned. Chance of an error reduced. Sure. Get out of here. Uh, Zili, uh, is going to become an accepted cult. For that this is this is indeed going to become a primary culture uh you guys definitely need to take your time to go ahead and reinforce this one's still progressing no because we've recently been at war i lost my uh my negative modifier for low mandate or mandate growth there which is good where else do i have cores Oh, I only had it in Beijing. Okay, well, I mean, it was a free core. Beijing is also inexpensive. There's 26 development there. Uh, how's our mandate looking? It's going up by 0.2 now. Devastation isn't even a thing. Cool. That's good to see. Alrighty, well, I am definitely over on time, so if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.